in addition to the circular components that we can create we now also have the ability to create arcs in components so let's go and create a new template I'm just gonna place a constrained component and we're just gonna arbitrarily place these values uh, we're just gonna make this as uh, close to a square as we can so once this is placed we can go in and we can define an arc segment along our component between points I can come in and right click on this component and I'm going to select the insert arc option and you'll notice that it rubber bands to my cursor and what we're doing is we're placing a through point to define this arc and the arc is going to be defined from the beginning point in the direction that the component is drawn so this DNCL is the origin of this component it's the first component that is placed so the through point is going to be defined back to that point so I'm going to place this and then we'll double click on the DNC point and we can look at the properties of that point and you'll see that it is not constrained at the moment um, one thing that we can do if we want to place this arc at the very top uh, between these two points is we can always come in and we can add slope constraints so if we do two slope constraints and we set these back to the parents being these two top edge points and then we're just going to match our slopes with the slope on the right is going to be a negative slope value so we say apply you see that that constrains that point and what that does is allows us to move and adjust the width of this component if we have point controls and this arc is going to remain a through point but it will remain in the center between these two points at that given slope.